Yes, another beautiful day in paradise. Well, you know, I want to take it back a little bit before we go forward. You know, it's a lot of people coming in or whatever, or just in case you join in the story late. Let me talk up, you know. Just one of them funny days. But yeah, really, you know, for you to get a good understanding of where this hole is going, everything is going, the direction is headed in, I'm going to take you back to like, you know, when I first started feeling these things or everything took place to make these events or what I've been posting make sense. You see, it's weird because the fact is I didn't have these type of access to this information prior to two and a half, three years ago. And it was like the incident took place with the star and a series of events start taking place next, one after the other, one after the other. And it makes it hard for me to define it and explain it to everybody. So it's just something of an expression. But for you to get an understanding more, and which is who you're going to be and who you are, I'm explaining it in a, in a way that it can't be defined. So we could try to define it the best way we can. But you're talking about something undefinable, uncontainable. So on that note, you know, the first things that started happening to me after the star visit was like I started seeing on Facebook, like, you know, joining them black groups and everything. A lot of Egyptian pictures. This is about two and a half years ago, you know, when the black pride was mostly into circulation. So you see a lot of these images from Egypt. All of a sudden, it was like those images made sense to me. Yes, brother. I could make out what they were saying. I understood the pictures. And the first thing that came across to me was the word portal. This is the disc, the sun disc, the yellow one, or orange one with the yellow snake around it. I kept seeing that, and I'm like, yo, that's a portal. I know it's a portal. And I'm just posting that whoever posted that picture I'm writing, this is a portal. Now, while this is going on, I'm videoing a lot of videos of just the sun, staring at the sun. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why would I just start staring at the sun all of a sudden? You know, this is like weird. I'm from the Bronx, you know, I'm a hustler, getting money and all that. I don't know nothing about none of this stuff, seriously. And so now, I'm staring at the sun, videoing. You look now, I got over two terabytes of just me videoing the sun. I know damn near everything about the sun from doing it for two years. And so that was like another weird anomaly. But with that, I started learning. It's like when I looked into the sun, it was like I saw other things. I didn't just see the sun and it didn't just burn my eyes. It didn't just make my eyes tear. It was like something was happening right here on here. It was like it was compressing and squeezing and tightening up. It's like a muscle and it's coming together. Every time I went and sun stared, it was like pressure in the back of my head. I feel like it's coming to make like a concentration of energy. And so now I'm like, nah, this is weird, but I'm liking this. This is like some old total recall shit. So now here it is, I'm doing these things. And I got now, like I said, a lot of hours of sun videos. It started like teaching me about dimensions. It was like, I started seeing medieval pictures like of, um, if I could remember one, like the apotheosis of George Washington. If you Google that, you will see these like, dimensional pictures or pictures of like cathedral ceilings and all of a sudden they started making sense to me i'm like oh shit that's in the sun i see the different dimensions the that's the frequency band between like if you're looking at a, a light and you was to capture it through your camera it's not just going to come as one circle of light source you will see a circle and then a bigger circle and then a bigger circle and then a bigger circle they get bigger and that's how your light come to you the same way the sun's rays come down on us it's like dimensions in it and that's as it filters from us the how you doing the focal point at the top it gets open like a cone and it comes down and cover the earth or whatever the case may be so now i'm noticing it and I'm trying to say, okay, these is dimensions. These is where it's at. And 
on top of this now, I'm saying it's portals because I see everything, but I just can't know how to make it work. I don't know what to do with it, but I'm seeing everything and I got an idea of what's going on. So now what I do, I go and um, I start seeing like more medieval pictures and start going deep into the investigation. So I start um, contrasting the pictures of the, what I take of the sun, adjusting the brightness and the contrast. And I start duplicating the actual images of those medieval pictures of Van Gogh, Rembrandt, all them artists, Leonardo da Vinci. Their pictures is like a, um, a, a, a film, but it's in this negative. They put it in this negative zone, so it's really dark. Everything is dark with just the reflective parts sticking out, which is entities. You see, this now gets deep into Egypt now. That's why you see Egyptians have a dark environment. Everything is dark. It wasn't like they didn't have light. They have more advanced techniques than us for lights. You know, you don't see no wires. Like, you don't see no real tools, but shit is built. So they're way more advanced than us using this, the same thing. This is where we're headed to. So once um, I started making these two connections, it was like now the Egyptian pictures and the artifacts that I started seeing that I'm claiming as portals, all of a sudden started to come alive. Like I would look at a picture of like an ancient Egyptian artifact meaning a wall with the designs on it set is on there Horus or whatever doing a funerary scene it will literally lift up off of the picture and when i look on my wall in my house it's all over embedded on my walls i got mad videos of images embedded in my wall so i started learning that by you staring at the egyptian pictures and if you're i guess genetically connected with them they come on to you they literally come into your magnetic field. They lift up off of, they went from my wall. And when I say they come on my wall, it's not like an invisible spiritual image that you can't see. Now it causes a chalk stain on the wall. So I, I video it and you see it. It's like chalk stain that form faces, beings, all types of different stuff that it looked at like, you know, your wall became bleached out or something. So I had a lot of these spots just appearing out of nowhere. And I literally had to do, yes, how you doing? All right, mom, you fast. I literally had to do a meditation to actually control the em environment of my room because they was popping up on my ceiling, popping out wherever. Every time I looked at an Egyptian p image, it would haunt me. It would come back in my room. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was scared to post Egyptian pictures. I was scared to repost what I was looking at and that made these things come off. And once I connected with them, it was unbelievable because these things now would literally lift off of my wall and start coming like it was pressure. They push first one, boom, then push another and get bigger. Boom, push out again and get bigger. And all of a sudden he's standing right there, but he's mad tall. And you looking like you looking down on somebody whose head is on the, how you doing? It's on the second floor of whatever building you at, the shoulders is at the top of your ceiling, put it like that. This is how they come out and they're more like a clear color with just an outline. Most of them is um, red, indigo, not red, I meant to say blue. Blue, purple, dark, 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 infrared, um, burgundy like in color. Those was the basic colors that was coming through as far as their image color. So now I'm like, what the hell is this? And when they come out, it's like they do a whole sequence of operations with you. It's like they turn into an orb light, just a little ball of light that opens up like a lily flower. And when it comes out, it's a nasty ass creature, some type of flying creature. And the flying creature now, it took me weeks, almost a month to actually trust it to allow it to interact with me it was scary as fuck. I was now in a room full of my wall that actually is like a portal to a parallel world. And it's full with dinosaurs or creatures just prowling back and forth, snapping at me. I'm in my own house like, what the fuck is this? And I'm seeing them, a bunch of Komodo dragons just pacing back and forth waiting for me. 
So days upon days is going by, and I'm like, okay, what the fuck? And I, I'm too curious. I keep fucking with it all day, every day I'm fucking with it. I build up enough courage now over a period of time because while this is happening, there's this little boy that is constantly coming to visit me. He's constantly like in the cloud. Now I'm, I'm going from taking pictures of the sun to taking pictures of the clouds. And it's a little boy in the cloud that is always like coming to get me. He's like telling me to come, come on up here. And so I started looking at the clouds different. They didn't look like clouds no more. It was like they inverted. And by them inverting, I saw a city. I saw a bunch of locations and I could see them all walking around outside. I could see those was peoples. I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, is this real? So I went on a cloud mission from there, recording clouds, recording clouds, not knowing the significance of what it was doing. I was recording clouds, like say I'm looking up at the clouds, and it was a strong magnetic field presence building up. And so when I moved, I was moving like a tick, tick, and our heart rate is going up, and like I just feel mad charged up, so charged up that when I touch my lock, I would shock myself. So charged up that my phone, my iPhone, them iPhone fives, no good. I burnt them out. I burnt out like four of them, just in my pocket to where I'm, I, I had to throw one on the floor because it literally caught on fire in my pocket. Same thing. Whenever I got turned up, angry, upset, the phone will burn in my pocket. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm in a, a lecture talking, and I'm turned up. And so now they want to see the images. Everything sound good. I pull out the phone to show them and the whole phone fry right in front of their face. Like the screen just start melting as it played. Yes. You know, hold on one second. I'm at my destination. We're going to continue this one second. <laughs> 